king's kid, yes I'm the king's kid My father is the king over everything So I will sing this song cause I know that I belong to the king of the universe I'm the king's kid, yes I'm the king's kid My father is the king over everything So I will sing this song cause I know that I belong to the king of the universe So I will sing this song cause I know that I belong to the king of the universe uh, G'day there King's kids, I'm Arnie from Arnie Shack I would just love being able to catch up with you all, uh, princes and princesses. Uh, God in heaven, uh, the king of the universe, is our father. Uh, so that makes us his children, uh, his kids, uh, members of his royal family. And God really, really loves his kids too. Uh, well, I am glad you are here today uh, because we have an amazing story to tell. It shows an incredible way that God provides for his prophet Elijah. Just wait till you hear what happens. I'll give you a bit of a clue. Uh, this story is about some birds and some takeaway food. Uh, it's found in 1 Kings chapter 17. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it. and some birds. Want to do some Bible exploring and read it, Gemma? I sure do, Sammy. I love birds so much, so I will find it interesting to read about Elijah and some birds. Whereabouts in the Bible is this story, Sammy? It is found in 1 Kings chapter 17. Are you ready to read it? Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. Elijah over there, Sammy? Yes, one of those men is Elijah. The other one is King Ahab. Elijah looks like he's about to talk to the king. Let's listen. King Ahab, I have a message for you from the King of Kings. A message for me? Well, hurry up, Ben. What's this all about? As the Lord God of Israel lives, whom I serve, There'll be neither dew nor rain for the next few years except 
at my word. You are speaking rubbish, Elijah. The rain will not stop. The dew will not stop. You don't scare me with your lies. Guards, where's Elijah? How could you let him escape? Find him right now, bring him back to me immediately. Uh-oh, I think Elijah is in trouble. I hope that he got a long way away from the king. Yep, Ahab sure sounds angry. I wonder where Elijah will be safe from the king. Let's keep reading and find out. Great to see you all, King's Kids. I am Grandpa John, and welcome to my workshop. It's one of my favorite places. This is the place I love making special things and telling stories. My favorite ones come from the Bible, which I have right here on my workbench. I have another great story for you today. God really loved his people, the Israelites. But many of the Israelite kings did not obey and follow God. When Ahab became the king, he did more evil things than any king before him. <sighs> king Ahab and his wife, Queen Jezebel, did not worship the true God. They worshiped idols instead. They led Israel away from the true God, so the Israelites also worshiped idols too. The king and queen encouraged people to disobey God's commands, and Queen Jezebel and the priests of Baal even had the true prophets of God killed. Now God was troubled by the idol worship and the wickedness in Israel. The people were now believing that it was the idol Baal who sent the rain. It was Baal who controlled the rivers, they said, and controlled nature. God had a prophet called Elijah who loved and obeyed him. So God asked Elijah to deliver a message to King Ahab. It was a very dangerous thing for Elijah to go anywhere near King Ahab's palace. If Queen Jezebel saw him, she would have him killed, like she had killed many other true prophets of God. King Ahab, he wouldn't like the message that was going to be delivered to him either, especially when it came from the true God. But Elijah, he trusted in God to be with him and to protect him. So Elijah went to the palace and went right up to King Ahab to give him the special message from God. As he stood before King Ahab, just imagine it. Elijah looked right into his eyes and said, As the Lord, the God of Israel lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years except at my word. As soon as he had delivered the message, Elijah quickly, you bet he did, quickly left the palace before anyone could stop him. Without God's protection, he would never have been able to get in and out of the palace without being stopped and put to death by the guards. After he left the palace, God had already organized a safe hiding place for Elijah. God told him that after he left the palace, he was to head eastward, and there in a special little brook or stream called Cherith, where he was to hide. 
Elijah would have water to drink from the brook. But listen to this, kids. But the most amazing part was how he was to get his food. Elijah could not go out to find food because the angry king and his queen had sent soldiers out to hunt throughout the land to find him. It was not safe for Elijah to be seen anywhere in Israel. Now this is amazing. So God organized to have food delivered to him. Well, so what? We all know what that's about, but listen to this. Every morning and every evening, big blackbirds called ravens flew in and brought bread and meat for him to eat. Wow, I hope they clean their teeth first. This continued for many months. Elijah was safe in his hiding place at the brook and King Ahab was not able to find him. As time went by, it did not rain just as Elijah's message from God had said. This showed King Ahab and Queen Jezebel and the people of Israel that the false idol god Baal was not able to control the rains, the rivers and nature. The whole country went into a big drought. Crops died and it was hard to find water to drink for people and for their animals. You know, King's kids, just like Elijah was protected by God, we too can feel safe when we follow God's plan and trust ourselves to His care. God is in control. He knows our needs and He really does care about us. So put your trust in God today. Today's Bible verse comes from Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Hi, King's Kids. It's Ranger Hardy here to talk to you about some more of God's amazing creation. Today, we are going to be looking at processional caterpillars. Can you see them on the tree behind me here? Throughout nature, there are many creatures that God has designed with characteristics which protect them. One of these types of creatures is the processional caterpillar. These are small, hairy little creatures which you can usually find in late summer or early autumn in some coastal and inland areas of Australia. During the day, the caterpillars shelter together in a bag nest made of silk, excrement, shed skins and other debris. Sometimes the nest is located on a shoot at the end of a branch or sometimes high on the trunk. It can also be on the ground at the base of the food plant. There can be a hundred or more caterpillars in the head to tail procession, kept together by contacting the tail hairs of the caterpillar in front. They create a silk trail. If disturbed, they curl up defensively into a tight bunch. It's best to avoid contact with these creatures as the hairs can easily penetrate the skin and break off and are difficult to remove thanks to the hundreds of microscopic barbs. The hairs contain an irritating venomous protein that can produce an allergic response and even eye injuries. I find it amazing that God has built in such incredible protection features into these tiny creatures. It is best to keep away from them so you don't get spiked. If you happen to spot these little creatures one day, remember that just like God has designed them with special protection features, He wants to be our protector too. We can always trust God. Anyway, I think that these little hairy caterpillars are sensational. Hi King's Kids, my name's Josiah. And I'm Zane. Today I'm going to show you how to have some fun with a friend. The things you will need are an empty picture frame with the glass still in it, or a window that mum and dad will let you use. You also need a paintbrush, some paints, and some wipes. And of course, a friend. Ask your friend to sit on the other side of the glass and get them to sit really still. And then give them a funny makeover with the paint. 
I'm going to give Zane some glasses. Now I think I might give him a moustache. That looks good. We are all different, but God knows, loves and cares for us. See what you can find to have some fun painting with a friend. Hi everyone, my name is Nurse Betty. One of the things I love to do is to teach girls and boys how to stay healthy. Today, I'd like to talk with you about stress. Have you heard someone say that they are feeling stressed? Do you know what stress is? Stress is your body's way of responding when it senses danger, demand or threat. Signs of stress may be low energy, headaches, upset stomach, rapid heartbeat, chest pains. But some stress is not always a bad thing. A moderate amount of stress successfully managed can motivate you to try hard at school and to do things like participating well in sports or athletics and help you to build the resilience needed to cope with problems you may face in the future. When stress is continuous or intense, however, it can have a negative effect on your body. So, it is important to learn how to successfully manage the stressful situations that you may face and develop resilience so you can bounce back after a problem has occurred. If you're feeling stressed, make sure you talk to someone about your feelings so they can help you to develop the strategies needed to feel good about things again. And of course, pray about it. Let God know how you're feeling. Turn your worry over to Him and exchange it for His peace. And remember Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. King's kids, remember that Jesus loves you. Take care of your body and take care of each other. G'day there, Andy. It's good to see you've logged in for another memory verse this week. Oh, yeah, Shane. It's great to be back. We have King's kid Rosie with us today. Hi, Rosie. How are you? Hi, Shane and Andy. Hi, boys and girls. Hey, good day there, Rosie. How about we uh, say a prayer? Dear God, please guide us. Thank you. Hey, Andy, how about uh, you read your passage from your Bible first? Oh, yeah, I can do that, Shane. Today's passage comes from Isaiah 41.10. And my version says, I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Hey, Rosie, what does your version say? My one says, so do not be afraid, I am with you. Do not be terrified, I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. My powerful right hand will take good care of you. I always do what is right. 
Hey Shane, you should read your Bible text. Cool Rosie, I'm going to do that. Oh, I've brought my uh, grandma's Bible along today. It's a really old one, so I'm going to read the verse from it. Okay, here we go. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee uh, with the right hand of my righteousness. Well, that's a bit different to uh, your versions, but it was good. Hey, Rosie, I've got a question for you. Who is our God? He's the God who created everything. He created you, He created me, and He, he created everybody. He created the plants and the trees and our food and, and our house. Oh, cool. Well, he's, he's a really fantastic God then, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, Andy, do you have a question? Oh, I sure do, Shane. Rosie, if God created everything, and this text says that God will strengthen you and help you, what do you think that that means? I think it means when there's a bad time, like when you're doing a very hard test, you can pray and he can help you and you can maybe get a high mark. Oh, so when you pray to God, he can give you peace. Yes. That's pretty special, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. That was a really good text, wasn't it? Hey, Andy, would you like to uh, say prayer before we go? Oh, I sure can, Shane. Dear God, thank you for your word. Help us to follow you. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to log out now, Rosie. We'll see you again. OK, bye. <laughs> bye, Rosie. Bye-bye. I think I can see Elijah over there, Sammy. Yes, this is where God directed Elijah to go to be safe from the angry King Ahab. It looks like a good hiding place. This place is called the Brook Kerith. Well, there is water for Elijah to drink from the brook. But how is he going to get food to eat out here? If he goes out looking for something to eat, the king may find out where he is. Well, Gemma, that is a really interesting part of the story. Keep watching and you'll see how God provides for him. Sammy, what is that up in the sky? Those black things. They are birds, Gemma. Actually, they are ravens. Elijah is looking up at them too, Sammy. And look. Oh, wow. The birds have just delivered some food to Elijah. Pretty incredible, isn't it, Gemma? Food delivered by ravens. How amazing. Listen, Gemma, Elijah is saying something. I think he's praying. My Lord and my God, thank you so much for your care and your protection over me these past few months. Since you've led me safely away from that angry King Ahab, You've sheltered and protected me here by the brook Cherith, where I can drink the cool, clean water, and you send the ravens to provide me food and meat every morning and evening. Thank you for providing everything I need as I follow your plan. Well, Sammy, that was a wonderful story. God used birds to care for his prophet Elijah. I think it is awesome how God cares for us all, Gemma. God can supply all our needs and we can always feel safe in his care. That's right, Sammy. You know, when I look at my new budgie, I will remember how God used birds to care for Elijah. So God will care for me too.
a plan. If you follow along, you just can't go wrong because God has a plan. And he wants you to be a part of it too, part of his plan. Now, I just love the special plan that God had to take care of Elijah. Uh, Hiding Elijah near a lovely brook with clean, fresh water, sending those ravens every day for months and months to bring him some takeaway food. I would love to have seen that. Uh, The story really does show us how much God cares for our needs. Uh, You know, King's kids, uh, just like Elijah was protected by God, uh, we too can feel safe when we follow God's plan and trust ourselves to his care. Uh, God is in control. God knows our needs and God really does care about us. Uh, So you, you can be confident that he will do the same for you too, King's kids. Uh, Why don't you take the time right now to ask God to show you, to lead you and guide you as you follow the perfect plan he has already prepared for you. Uh, Even when things seem to be going wrong, uh, like when Elijah had to hide from King Ahab, God had already sorted out his care plan. Uh, Don't ever forget that he has sorted a plan for you too. Uh, Trust him today. Uh, Anyway, King's Kids, it's time to go now. I will look forward to catching up with all of you again next time. So take care, stay safe, and God bless. So I-